gonna make lunch plates. So this is three pounds of clay. I've got a 12 inch bat. Coning this clay up a little bit. Hand on the side, fist on the top. I'm gonna bring this down. Go a little lower. I wanna bring this down till it's about an inch thick. So I'm gonna open this up and develop a ring out here to make the rim of the plate. Compress this rim together. All right, so this is still nice and thick. Right here, we're at about nine inches, and I want to be at about 10 inches total. I'm gonna throw it steeper than I need. Got one hand on the inside bracing, I'm pushing down and in to grab this clay. Come up and out. Compress the rim. Get your hands cleaned up. Hold it out like this to the right of center. So if we imagine a center point right there, I'm just gonna stay to the right of that, lay this flat and compress it. And go right to the middle, but don't cross it. This is making that plate nice and strong in the middle. Now I'll switch up here and brace the outside. Exactly at 10 inches. So I'm going to round this out. You want to put a little visual interest on the inside, that's okay.
And then out here, we've got a little flange of clay under the plate. So I'm gonna use the spoon side of this tool. Remove a little bit of that. And then use the pointed side here. To make a little groove. Get your wire tool. So when I cut these off, I'm gonna pin my thumb down here and then hold this with tension over the side. We are gonna make another plate. This one having a rim. Uh, so it'll be flat across the bottom with a small rise and then a rim. So again, this is three pounds. All right, so this plate also is going to be 10 inches wide, uh, but I want the interior to be six and a half inches wide. So I've got my calipers set up here at six and a half, and I can just kind of eyeball this here. I'm up right about where I want to be. So from here, bring this clay up and out. Push down and in from the outside. Bring this up. that rim nice and fat and a little steep because we're going to lay it down later. Clean your sponge out. So with that up, I'm actually going to make a mark on this now. Just hover it right here in the center and I lean to the right. Make a mark where I got that this tool right where that line is sink that down and come right to the middle Check our measurement out here. 
or write it 10, so like that. I'll take a minute to compress this rim. No corners on this, get that nice and rounded. So it's got a good long life. Clean this up. Dull this down. When these set up a little bit, I'll come back and show two different variations of altering the rim to give that some visual interest.